Two extra deaths now. Hundreds of deported veterans are fighting in Mexico to return to the United States, their home. But in recent years, cartels have been trying to take advantage of them. In conjunction with the Puente News Collaborative, a binational partnership of news organizations in El Paso and Juarez, ABC7's contributing reporter Luis Chaparro has this story. Hundreds of U.S. veterans who served on different wars are ending up on that side of the border, deported into Mexico. Cuando estaba allá en Vietnam, yo les preguntaba a mis oficiales superiores. Francisco is saying that when he was in Vietnam, he will ask his superiors what he could do to become a U.S. citizen. They told him he earned his citizenship as soon as he began fighting for the United States. But Francisco says he was caught, convicted, and deported for buying cocaine. Tuve que empezar en Ciudad Juárez a hacer mi vida, a trabajar. Francisco is telling me he had to start his life all over in Ciudad Juárez. He had to start working even though he was afraid due to the violence. Francisco was allowed back into the U.S. with citizenship 23 years after being deported. He is a member of All Relations United, an organization trying to get more bets back in the U.S. But drug cartels are taking advantage of veterans who are forced to wait for years and decades. In recent years, the veteran stock in Mexico had become an easy target for Mexican drug cartels who want to recruit former members of the U.S. forces for the set of skills learned at the military. It's a constant battle for them because the, uh, the cartels over there are constantly wanting to... Uh, to uh, recruit them uh, into the organization because of their, their military training. I spoke with Oscar Hagelseth, a former Homeland Security Investigation Supervisor in Mexico. He believes deported veterans are training cartels not only in the use of arms, but also in strategic operations. A deported U.S. veteran that's deported to Mexico is, is appealing to the cartels because, first of all, they've been trained by by the military, by the U.S. military, which, you know, by far is the most technical and advanced military in the world. They've been trained in not only, uh, you know, uh, weapons, uh, you know, tactical maneuvers uh, in combat, but, you know, technical expertise like communication. Hagelsev also revealed a new trend, veterans looking to get hired by the cartel. I would go as far as to say that it's not necessarily that the cartels are recruiting them, but you know, the deported, some of the deported veterans are seeking out employment. The situation of the government deporting its veterans to Mexico could be a threat to national security, according to Hagelsev. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it's a threat because these individuals have a specific skill set that, that will be able to translate into uh, facilitating the introduction of drugs into the United States. Y por fin nos entrar. No, y no todos. Francisco told me they have to bring all deported veterans back. He says all of them deserve to live in the U.S. because they fought for the country. Luis Chaparro for ABC7. Hagelsep says cartels pay a wide range to veterans. We know of a case of a vet in Juarez who was being paid around $3,000 a month for training sicarios or hitmen in Sinaloa. Organizations in the U.S., like All Relations United, are working to get as many vets back in the U.S. as possible to prevent them from falling into crime.